here in northwestern Tanzania, UNHCR, along with her partners, are highly appreciative of the support from the EU to be able to respond to the needs of the Burundi refugees in this region. The staff we have on the ground are committed. Without these people, we would not be able to achieve what we've achieved so far. I'm most proud, I'd say, of the fact that we're frontline responders here. We're the first people to receive refugees. It's very gratifying and rewarding work. Even during the influx where we were having over 2,000 refugees on a daily basis, there was never any pipeline break or delay in providing services or assistance to the refugees. I think that's a great achievement. I'm grateful to be a part of uh, the team. When I wake up in the morning, and sometimes things are very difficult, but I remember that child that I left in the ward who is suffering, who is crying, and I'm like, yes. I have to go and save this child the way another nurse saved the life of my sister. My sister is alive today because there was a nurse who saved her life. It keeps me motivated to save more life, to support more people. Um, I would say my proudest accomplishment has been to set up the leadership structure in the camp to make sure that their needs um, are being articulated and brought towards the right people. The biggest challenge is when uh, we received a big number of population from Burundi and then there was cholera outbreak. So we thought that we couldn't manage, but fortunately we, we managed it and uh, there was no death from cholera. So for me, that is an accomplishment and uh, I am very proud of it. Initially there was a lot of challenges in water. I'm most proud of uh, using my knowledge and the experience so that at the end of the day we achieve the goal. When I'm thinking that I'm helping my fellow Africans, the, especially for those who are young and who are those in need, that makes me wake up every day and come to work. I haven't given up for 25 years. I would not give up today. I still care for the people. I think working with an institution like ECHO, which is field-oriented, field-based, close to the partners, close to the people, is uh, something which motivates me a lot. As long as I can do something, I will do it.